As the barrier staff scamper away from the front and they're right to go. Ready now at the 1800 metres. Gates go back and they're off and racing. Varsha seemed to leap a little bit. It'll land mid-pack in the early stages of the race as China Road began well. Taken on over on the outside in the early part of the race by uh, Bedouin's boy who's now going to slot in behind it. Over near the inside is Midnight Deal. Mass Media going up wider. Sand Warrior over on the fence, then Miracle Maker. They were followed by Rose Grey trapped out wide. Octel Gano, Sophia, Rahia getting up on the inside. Then came El Twanig. He's drifting back with Varsha, Falcon Claws, and back at the rear of the field is Miracle Power. Running down the back behind a lead of 25.68. And the front runner is China Road. Over Mass Media going up on the outside, but they haven't crossed the fence as Sand Warrior holds that spot. Between horses is a midnight deal. Next of all then is Bedouin's boy hand to the speed. Miracle Maker around the outside of Ra here, then Safia. Next of all is Rose Gray, followed by Falcon Claws, travelling OK. Octel Gano's off the bridle. Next of all is Varsha. Well back is Miracle Power. And out the back is El Quinig top of the straight now. They come down with 700 metres to go as they're about to turn for home. China Road's been one off the fence throughout. Just led over Sand Warrior. Mass Media. Miracle Maker around the outside. Rahir over on the inside. Next of all, Betterman's boy. Zafir. Then Cam Rose Grey about to peel to the outside. Falcon Claws behind them with Varsha. It's in a traffic jam as they swing for home. Still China Road, the front runner. Now out in the middle. Midnight deal comes home strongly. Safia and Rahir over on the inside. Betterman's boy little one pace. Rose Grey is down the outside. Sophia's gone to the front over Midnight Deal trying to close in. Coming hard is Rose Grey out wide on the track but Sophia in front. Rose Grey looks the likely danger out wide but a Sophia clear by a length over Rose Grey coming hard on the outside but Sophia kept going in the front just landed. Sophia by a head over Rose Grey. Big performance. Bedouin's boy battled into third followed by five claws running on well behind them with Rahia. Varsha wasn't far off. They were followed by Midnight Deal. Next in was Miracle Maker, then came Octel Gano, China Road, Miracle Power. Next to come across the line was uh, El Quinig, then came San Warrior, and Mass Media didn't give too much in the home straight as dropped out to run with the tail enders. About to load forward, and important missions, Xavier Ziani in the saddle will be the last to go forward. So we're ready to uh, go now. 100 metres across the dirt for race number two, Maidan. Racing, a little bit tardy was Mad Cal off the inside. Away quickly, Drummore straight to the front, important mission, trying to hold it early. Next of all, there is uh, Rafid Mudarafa being chased up there, and now Mad Kel makes ground along the inside. With them, Sedan's kept wide of the track. And last of all is Pilgrim's Treasure as they come off the back, and there's a bit of speed on here with Drum Moore, racing important mission. Two links away to Mudarafa getting into third, followed by Mad Kel. Then came Rafid, Lissam Sanans, and Pilgrim's Treasure. 23.86 was the lead as they come down the side. Drummore is the leader, led by three parts of a length over important mission. Third is Mudarafa, edging a little closer but being chased along. A gap then to Lissam Sanans coming around the outside of important mission. Then Pilgrim's Treasure and Mad Cal is going to finish dead last by the looks of it. Into the straight they come, Drummore, important mission lifts over on the inside. They were followed by Mudarafa, Pilgrim's Treasure, Lissam Sanans down the outside. But Important Mission kicked up a gear and raced away. That was me. Important Mission gets away by four lengths. Charging down the outside is Pilgrim's Treasure. But it's going to be Important Mission who absolutely bolts up. Important Mission will win by four lengths. Second Pilgrim's Treasure, four and a half lengths away to Muta Rafa. Followed by Drummore. Then came Litham St Anne's. Behind them was Ra Fit and a Mad Cow. An impressive performance there by Important Mission. Zavi Ziani went very hard in the front with Drum Moore. Drum Moore dropped off. Important mission just kept on going and has chased away from Pilgrim's Treasure, who finished hard down the outside to get into a second. Mad Cal slowly. There's Dosk. Going over here on the stand side in gate number 12. So we're almost set to go now. Gates are back and they're off and racing. A little slow out was Eddie Salat. Good speed from Bold Rex here on the uh, the rail. 
Uh, pace also from Tarnin. Rebel Streak just drops in behind them out of the middle. Carnival showing a little bit of early toe with Geneticist and also Tad Burr. Staying to the stands rail is Parfait and alongside of it is 2P. Just in behind them is Desert Frost followed by Dosk. Then came Aquanera. Picking up ground is Eddie Salat now. Shadji's between horses. Rebel Streak and sailed off is Dream Warrior. They come down now with 600 metres to go about to join the course proper and Tarnin shows the way. Out by a clear length over Bold Rex over on the fence in the middle. Geneticist, the Red Silks. Two P's right in the hunt here out wide. Shadji now coming through. They were followed then next of all by Carnival who begins to drop off. Desert Frost picks up some ground and over towards the inside. Eddie Salat. The leader is Tarnin drifting to the middle of the track. The cavalry come after it now. Dosk is beginning to fly home. It's Tarnin in front. Dosk is coming at it hard out wide on the track and also Tad Burr getting into it late. Tarnin's just in front. Dosk and Tad Burr come at it. Dosk reaches the lead. Tad Burr dives at it but Dosk gets in by a head over Tad Burr. Third Tarnin close up Eddie Salat. Good run after being poorly out followed by Desert Frost 2P then Rebel Streak. Shadji didn't finish it off. Geneticist was close up followed by Aquanira. Next to come in was Carnival who uh, drifted well out of play. Also Bold Rex after showing speed. Well back was Dream Warrior amongst the tail enders and Parfait has pulled up on a thripney bit at the rear. Dosk will take it out here. Sabe Omehiri and Antonio Fris who uh, pretty well down the outside. The rail right out here today and well the riders just stayed in their lanes. Solar shower into its gate. We wait on uh, Roy Orbison. So Roy Orbison is coming along. Just about in and loaded away now and they're almost set to run. Race number four of the night. Start is in position, they're set. Dangerous thought just to settle. Racing now, fairly even line two. Gervais out in the middle shows good acceleration. Leadership is pushed up there. Litigation ridden hard as well. And also times past is in search of the front and it's going to trump them all. Trenches off the inside by the looks it's driving through. Now if Tatar goes forward as well. Gervais is back into fifth position. The inside is Roy Orbison, then Zaja and Guernsey. Dangerous thought between horses. Trapped out wide is Solar Shower. Next is R1 being a hard ridden followed by California Jumbler. Uh, Jumbo, then Spring Jig, and back of the tail is Mazid. Off the back, behind the lead of 24.62. Trenches went through to the front. Litigation being worked on outside of it. Leadership three deep, four wide is Iftatar, followed by Roy Orbison travelling very strongly on the leader's back. Next is Dangerous Thought, followed by Times Pass, Gervais out wide. Guernsey's now on the improve. Next of all, out wide is Zaja, California Jumbo. R1's a long way back, but they turn in. Leadership goes up to eyeball trenches. Guernsey's come into it very quickly out in the middle of the track and it sprints up to them now. They go to the uh, 280. Guernsey gets away a half length over leadership. Running on is Roy Orbison. California Jumbo from a mile back. Followed by Gervais but it's Guernsey in front. Now California Jumbo begins to eat into the ground. Guernsey getting tired and California Jumbo went straight by it on the outside and the Jumbo lands. It is California Jumbo streaking out by two on Guernsey. Gervais gets up for third. Followed by leadership Roy Orbison. Then Trench Next across was Spring Jig running on well towards the end from Eftatar. Dangerous thought. Mazid litigation. Well back was uh, times past along with a solar shower. Then Zaja R1 didn't uh, play a part of the race at any stage. California's Jumbo at its eighth start of the season. It's in position now. So Omareb drawn wide and Shanty Star to go up. So the right to run now, starter heads over to position Shane Ryan. And they're right to go. Now they're racing and they're getting away out wide, starry eyes. Also driving up there is Tafakor in the early part. And Dragon's Tail commenced well with Shanty Star and over on the inside, Hakim. And firing through now is El Nadir. So they settle down and go into the front is Tafakor over Dragon's Tail. El Nadir over on the inside, caught out wide is Adventurous. Now going up from Starry Eyes out three wide, Shanty Star next. Over on the inside is Hakim. Next is Orem, followed by Edarat. Then came El Batar, who's uh, badly snookered away on the inside. Harlick, El Mareb on a wide trip. Nay Slayer was back with the tail into 
leaders along with Carrington. 25-2-9 was the leaders. They swing down the side of the track. And the leader is Tafakor on a quick back out from last week. Led Adventurous working up three wide around the outside of the newcomer Dragon's Tail. Next of all then is El Nadir over on the inside from Shatty Star. Hakeem will need an out shortly. El Mareb goes up wider. It's very deep around the outside of Starry Eyes. Then Aharlik. Next of all is Ederat in a very tightly packed field. El Batar needs room. It's badly snookered. Orem, Nay Slayer and Carrington. For home they come and Tafakor, the leader, going right around the outside is El Mareb. Steams up to them now. Shanty Star battling away his dragon's tail. Then came El Nadir trying to get into the clear. Running on his head, Hakeem and Starry Eyes down the outside. El Mareb's got the lead. Hakeem, now Nay Slayer begins to get into the clear. Begins to power home. The leader is El Mareb. Kicking strongly is Tafakor over on the inside. Out wider, Hakeem and Nay Slayer. They drive down the line. El Mareb just in front. What's well, a head bobber? El Mareb or Hakeem. Close up, Nay Slayer in a photo with Tafakor and rattling through was El Batar who looked a bit stiff. Carrington right on their tail from Starry Eyes. Then came El Nadir. Next to come in Shanty Star. They were followed by Dragon's Tail. Harlick was well back. They were followed across the line by Ederat. Then came Oren. And last of all was Adventurous. But a call for here. The uh, horses' heads are totally out of sync. El Mareb steaming up the lead and then having to withstand the challenges left, right and centre. Hakeem's been the major player coming hard on the outside. And as they've hit the wire, there's going to be very little between them. El Mareb, Hakeem coming at it. Nice Slayer was bursting through. It's Afikor who led them. Fought on very strongly. El Batar over on the inside needed room earlier than it got it. And Starry Eyes close up on the outside. So it's just a matter of who's got this final bound in. And it may well possibly be Hakeem. But it will be very tight. The judge will put their numbers up soon on race number five. Jones is in, Welsh Lord to follow, and then that gun dog Dillon will be right to go for race number six. Seven days away from Super Saturday here next weekend. Now we're right to go. All set. Gates are back and they're off and racing. Good speed illusional out wide, also chased up there early as Irish Freedom to go forward. And also Harbour Dance, Gundog Doos out wide in the early part. Tradesman hard ridden and spearing between them now. Knocker Cullion picks up good ground from Welsh Lord Festival of Ages. Casey Jones trapped out wide from Waditna. A gap off then to Cartier Francais and Secret Trade went back to the rear. Into the back and uh, the leader is Irish Freedom for Tygo Shea. Shows out from Harbour Dance, Knocker Cullion. Illusional trapped out three wide now from Welsh Lord, then Gundog Do. Next of all is Casey Jones, tradesman over on the inside between Horses Festival of Ages. Wadditton's a fair way back, I thought it's a fairly compact field here, he's about five and a half from the leader. Then came Secret Trade and Cartier Francais. 26-10 was the lead as they travel down the back, 1100 metres to go and Irish Freedom shows the way out by a length. Over Harbour Dance in second, three wide illusional, four wide is Gun Dog Do. Then came Knocker Cullion enjoying a sweet run just off the map, being uh, ridden along now from Welsh Lord, then Casey Jones. Festival of Ages, Wooditton's been kept wide out of kickback. Next of all is Tradesman, a gap off to Secret Trade and Cartier Francais. Down before the bend, and Irish Freedom gave a little kick here as they come towards the top of the straight. It showed the way over Harbour Dance, travelling up strongly to its outside. Illusional under pressure, but sticking on, then Gun Dog do Welsh Lord. Behind them is Casey Jones as they come to the bend. Secret Trade comes to the outside. We're a fair way back with Tradesman and Festival of Ages and the whitest horses. Cardia front saved into the straight. They come. Harbour Dance the leader. Here come the challenges now. Secret Trade out in the middle and Casey Jones is between horses. Secret Trade went to the lead over Casey Jones. Tradesman down the outside with Cardia front say. Secret Trade reaches the lead over Casey Jones. Tradesman runs on strongly out wide. Puts the big one 
wide blinkers in front tradesman and begins to race away tradesman's going to win by a half length over casey jones who's stuck on very strongly over on the fence close up on the outside cardia francais they were followed by secret trade then came a harbour dance welsh lord would did an illusional gun dog do festival of ages well back then was irish freedom the early leader and at the back was knocker Kellyan. stand by the tradesman down to big uh, pressure as they come off the back straight and going to yield ground from about a thousand meters this is the running of race number seven next time we're here at uh, maydown will be next saturday night for super saturday so they're right to run all set Stout looks across the line now he presses the button, they're racing. Jahafal off the inside showed speed. Conclusion, Rura Gust about it away quite well. And Bove is going to hold a forward spot as well. Keep it out wider and holds sway. Burning from out wide is going to cross the entire field. Trying to surf with it is Silken Dancer as they go into the first turn. They were followed by Hard Taskmaster. Next trade to Georgia. They were followed by, yeah, next of all, Gontier down on the inside about it. A couple of links away in the field to King's Shadow. Next of all, then, is Celestial Spheres. And unfortunately, Barwood has gone amiss in the initial stages of the race. First sectional there, 25 81 as they race towards the back straight. And working around the outside, Silken Dancers taken the lead of Holdsway is quickly off its back. Then, key big conclusion. Beauvais is one off the fence, the outside of Jahafala. Two links away to Rura Augusta, then a hard taskmaster. Train to Georgia covers up, Gontier, followed by King's Shadow, then Bowditch, and that gap away in the field to Celestial Spheres. So they run their way down the back straight now with 1400 metres left to go. And the leader here doing it quite well. Silken Dancer off a quick back up from last week led from Holtzway in second. Conclusion down on the inside of Key Bith in Jahafal. Bovace is covering it. One out, two back. Next of all is Hard Taskmaster, then Rua Augusta. Bowditch is on a very wide trip. Gone to air. Picking up ground between horses. King Shadow, but now into a dead end. And next of all, then trained to Georgia. And that gap away to Celestial Spheres. And down the side they come. They begin to turn off the back now. Under a thousand metres left to go and holds way. He's gone to the front as Silken Dancer called to the night as holds way over key bid. It's up on the outside as they come towards the top of the straight. Then conclusion. Beauvais was next of all. The inside Jahafala, followed by Rura Augusta. Trained to Georgia around the outside with Hard Taskmaster. Picking up some ground. King Shadow and Gontier and the rest are well beaten as they come to the top of the straight. 550 metres to go. Holds way there under sufferance as key bid goes alongside then conclusion Bovey now asks for a effort out in the middle down the outside hard taskmaster Rural Augusta trained to Georgia and behind them King Shadow to lead a key bid joined by conclusion Bovey's taking his time to get there running on hard taskmaster down the outside conclusion in front coming hard is hard taskmaster Bovey between them conclusion bobbing in the front coming out of his hard taskmaster is finishing brilliantly out wide and hard taskmaster goes up hits the lead and strikes the win. Hard Taskmaster gets in from conclusion. Beauvais was very dour, very one paced at the end of that. They were followed in a photo train to Georgia and King Shadow. Next in key bid, Gontier holds sway. Well back was Rura Augusta pulling up quickly. Jahafal. Next across was Bowditch. Then came Silken Dancer and Celestial Spheres. And unfortunately, Barwood went amiss in the early stages of the race.